Short story bonus. Any bloody idiot. Written and narrated and also produced by Ian King. Give my keys, Aaron. No, you drunk Joe. No, I'll bloody thump you. Now give me my keys. I want to go home. Catch me first. And he bolted with Joe's keys. The last thing Joe needed to do tonight was get behind the wheel, plastered as he was. Aaron had guts to take his keys. Joe was big and dangerous, and especially when he was blind drunk like then. Aaron's heart fluttered like a scared bird as he ran from the blithering bull whose horns were definitely out to maul anybody that got in his way. But he did it anyway. He took them from the ignition when Joe was heading for his car, intending to drive home. And Aaron was running, literally running for his life. He had guts all right. Usually he was as timid as a duck. He wasn't that confident. But somehow he'd dug deep tonight to save his uncle. However, even that wouldn't be enough. Stuff ya! I'll take Lewis's car! No, idiot, stop! Said another bystander. Leave it! Crash here the night, man! Get out of my bloody way, I'm going home! You call this a party? I've had tea parties with my girls that are more fun than this, you bloody losers. I'm out of here. And so that's how Joe ended up driving that night in his sister Lewis's car. The two funerals were held three days later. One family, Aaron may never know, was mourning their seven-year-old little girl. She was about the same age as Stephanie, Joe's daughter. But how would Aaron know that? He knew someone else had died because of the accident, but he didn't know who. Aaron looked into the coffin, holding Stephanie's hand, his little bird heart thumping and crying out, Why? Why don't you ever listen? Suddenly his little cousin said the most profound thing. She couldn't tell where it came from. It was just there, somewhere from within her tiny fragile frame. She said, If people choose not to listen, Aaron, then they'll never hear, will they? And mourning was heard all through that valley. It is a fact that more people die every year from drinking and driving than from all of them that were killed during the whole Vietnam War. Don't be a bloody idiot.